In Epcot, Future World East, an attraction with vision and promise for a better tomorrow. Horizons, showcasing the world of 21st century living and the latest technologies that will shape our world and lead us to a bright future. Originally sponsored by General Electric, Horizons supports the true fact that if we can dream it, we can do it. Horizons opened in Epcot on October 1st, 1983. Horizons designer, George McGuinness. I started on the pavilion in 79 with Colin Campbell, and we researched a lot for the Edison Lab concept. Well, when we presented that to Reginald Jones, the chairman of General Electric, he rejected it. He didn't want history. He wanted the future. Well, we've been back to the drawing board, and working with the General Electric team, we came up with a concept of past, present, future, with the Omnisphere handling the present. Those Omnimax dome screens, 90 feet wide, had to be built in first before the roof of the building could be put on. The Horizons ride system was a chain of forward-facing ride vehicles which glided sideways along an overhead track. There were 174 of these ride cars on the chain, with 10 more available as spares. Throughout the show, guests were immersed in highly detailed scenes depicting life in the future, and guests could choose one of three different destinations for their futures. At an estimated cost of $60 million to complete, the Horizons Pavilion occupied three acres of land, housing 3,700 tons of steel. But most importantly, the Horizons experience complemented Epcot best, coinciding with the ideals of life in the 21st century that one man in particular dared to bring to reality. Walt Disney. The 21st century is now. There's history happening here. Before you, you see how the dream reached its after nearly 10 years since the Horizons grand opening, General Electric would discontinue its sponsorship with Horizons. From then on, Horizons would operate only seasonally and on special occasions. At the time, Horizons had become the only attraction in all of Epcot to run without sponsorship. The Horizons experience contained an abundance of detail. One can ride several times, even consecutively, and still discover new things not seen on previous rides. The future port is open now. Here's our chance to get a glimpse at what our futures can be. The Horizons ride system was a great people handler, loading new and repeat guests continuously. There was rarely a wait time for boarding. Bravo Centauri, newest of the exciting Centauri series of space stations offers remarkably rewarding opportunities in Earth support locations. Come up to Bravo. Space shuttles depart daily. We're almost on board, so please step cautiously onto the moving belt and board your vehicle, and refrain from using flash photography throughout the ride. Please take your children by the hand. The doors of your vehicle will close automatically. Please remain seated with your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Horizons 1 is now departing. Our final destination today, the 21st century. Hey, that's some destination. My wife's right. Wait till you see the new towns of tomorrow. Desert farms and floating cities, even colonies in space. 
But you know, this isn't exactly the first time anyone's tried to make this trip. People have been dreaming about the future for centuries. Well, here, here's the stuff dreams were made of several hundred years ago. Yep, yeah, it's always fun looking back at tomorrow. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. There's the grand old man himself, Jules Verne. This is the way a moonshot looked to him back in the late 1800s. Old Uncle Jules may not have had all the answers, but he had the right idea. He was just a little ahead of his time. People have painted some pretty fantastic views of the future. And some pretty mixed up ones, too. Easy living. It's always been just around the corner. We're just in time for the matinee. Yeah, looking back at tomorrow through the movies of yesteryear. Progress can be accurately checked on a synchronized scanning map. With no driving responsibility. Look, the future from the 50s. A bit far out, don't you think? I guess so, but we always thought the future would be kind of fun. I suppose people have always dreamed of the future. We sure do. The only difference is that today, with what we know and what we're learning to do, we really can bring our dreams to life. It takes a lot of work, but the truth is, if we can dream it, we can do it. Tomorrow's horizons are here, today. liquid space, oceans of minerals and food ready to fuel tomorrow's needs. The DNA chain, life's molecular blueprint. Decoding its secrets is leading us to dramatically improved health. The sun. Today we're learning ways to harness its limitless energy. space, habitats where people live and work. This is no distant dream. We're at the threshold now. A computerized view of Earth. Landsat photography, providing vital data on agriculture, resources, and ecological concerns. The cityscape. A living tribute to our richest resource, people. Here's a new kind of cityscape, the microprocessor, an entire computer on a tiny silicon chip. 
What you've just seen are the building blocks for the future up ahead. And while it may look fantastic, remember, it's all possible. That's right. And we ought to know. We live there. Come on, take a look at 21st century living on land and sea and even out in space. But let's start off at our place. That's our daughter she's talking to. She's doing wonders out there on one of those desert farms. I wrote this myself. Like it? Oh, how did you think Daddy ever survived us? She's oh, that reminds me. We both desert. love the solar berries. That little girl in her house. Isn't it something? Send a city kid to college for seven years, and what happens? She becomes a farmer. Oh, I think agricultural engineer is a little more like it. Okay, but me, I'll take the city. Yes, it's always exciting. But hey, with today's transportation, we're just minutes away from our kids. Look at that, will you? A few years ago, this was all barren desert. No crops, no irrigation. Quite a transformation. Well, I'm not surprised. I can see the storm from here. Hello, Harvesters. Even the robots see it. Stand by, Harvesters. I mean real showers. I believe it. Thanks for the warning. You know, this really makes me proud. And you wanted her to go to law school. But do you suppose they ever miss the fun of the city? Oh, I think they get their share right here. Shouldn't your granddaughter be studying instead of flirting with that beach boy? He is not a beach boy. He's studying marine biology there on the floating city. Floating cities, they're amazing. I mean, whole new industries have developed in them and under them. Mariculture, all sorts of marine mining, fuels, energy. And fun. Remember fun? I'm serious. Well, so am I. Floating cities have opened up whole new ways for people to enjoy their lives as well as their work. There's always been something sort of mysterious about our oceans. We knew they were filled with valuable gifts for us. Yeah, water and seaweed. Very funny. But seawater has become an excellent source of energy, as well as being valuable for desert irrigation. And kelp. Seaweed. Kelp is a tremendous source of low-cost fuel. Oh, we found lots of good things under our oceans. And don't forget space. We found lots of good things out there, too.
These space colonies are out of this world. Let's take a quick look around. Now there's the new frontier. Our son and his family wouldn't live anywhere else. Hey, maybe you and I ought to move up here. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Now there's my speed. Sports and exercise in zero gravity. It looks like fun. It is once you get the hang of it. Oh, now that's really lovely. Practical, too. Just think, materials from space for all kinds of industries back on Earth. And that's... Uh-oh. We gotta run. Time for our grandson's party? Uh-huh. We'll catch up to you later. passengers. You are invited to choose your own flight path back to the future port. Please look down at the lighted panels in front of you. Press one of the three ride choices, space, desert, or undersea. Everyone can choose. Majority rules. All passengers, make your selections now. from the future. Oh, it went by so quickly. Yes, but one of the nice things about traveling into the future is that the journey's just beginning. That's right. And I'll tell you something. If we can dream it, we really can do it. And that's the most exciting part. From all of us, thanks for exploring Horizons. Now, please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving belt. The belt and your vehicle are traveling at equal speed. Please look down and take young children by the hand as you step out onto the moving belt. The belt and your vehicle are traveling at equal speed. Indeed, a fun ride and an informative and enthusiastic show. The Horizons experience has garnered countless fond memories and an abundance of dedicated fan support along online discussion boards, blogs, dedicated fan websites, and more. 
You can start with a basic engine search and find a nearly endless cornucopia of information on Horizons, perhaps more online fan support for Horizons than any other Epcot or Walt Disney World attraction. There is undoubtedly good reason for that. But on January 9th, 1999, Horizons would close for good, leaving behind its legacy and to make way for future developments. In the meantime, it was the end of an era, and we would have to say goodbye to an Epcot legend. The Horizons building would be removed, and the future development to come was the much-anticipated and intensely thrilling Mission Space Attraction, which we will cover in this series. But for those of us who share in the Horizons experience, it's the beginning of a new era. We can look to the possibilities of realizing the return of this kind of show, and perhaps we and our future generations can have opportunity to experience and explore the future on board a new Horizons. After all, if we can dream it, we can do it. Join us as we explore this and other Epcot and Walt Disney World attractions. It's your passport to the wonders of Epcot and the magic of Walt Disney.